Hello everybody and welcome back to a new Destiny video. So in today's Destiny video I'm going to be showing you guys some of my advanced sniper tips. So if you have not seen part 1 of this video I highly recommend that you watch that. That's going to give you all of the beginner tips on sniping in Destiny, what sensitivity to play on, what snipers to use, what scopes to use. Everything that you need to know if you've never sniped before can be found in that guide. Now if you've already sniped a little bit in Destiny and you're just looking for some little tips and tricks to get just a little bit better, this is definitely the video for you because I'm going to be going over a lot of advanced sniper tips today in this video. So the first tip I can give you guys is when you're playing against heavy ammo. So a lot of people always like to snipe the heavy ammo. You'll find pretty much every single map at least one person will always be camping somewhere to snipe the heavy ammo. Now it is important if you're sniping to try to do that because a lot of people always like to bunch up around the heavy ammo. Everybody always goes for the heavy ammo, and it's just an easy place where you can pick up a lot of kills, and that's where I always like to try to get a lot of snipes off towards the beginning of the round. Now, if you don't end up picking up the heavy ammo, it's very important that you keep track of the people who do have heavy ammo. Now, on this map, I know where the two points spawn. Now, the one point hasn't been picked up yet. I know that because I was just sniping it, that no one's over there. Now, if you did not know this, when someone picks up the heavy ammo, it'll actually come up in the feeds. If that comes up in red, that means an enemy picked it up. Now, I'm playing Rumble, so every time it's going to be an enemy that picks it up. But if you're in a team-based game mode, if you see it come up in red, that means the other team has picked up the heavy ammo, and you definitely need to be aware of that. Now, that's exactly what I do. I know this guy's coming on the left with heavy ammo, so I checked the hallway just to make sure that he's not coming there. I wanted to make sure I kept my distance as much as possible, so that if he did get a rocket shot off at me, I would still have time to snipe him, and then run away and get behind cover so that the rocket didn't kill me. Now luckily enough, I was able to slip out of that situation pretty soon before he actually figured out where I was. He had the general idea of where I was because I was coming up on his radar, but because he figured I was up in that sniper spot the whole time, still sniping across towards that heavy ammo, I was able to slip right down to the level right below him before he even realized it, and pick up that snipe before he even shot out his rocket. So the next tip that I can give you guys is when you should be switching your weapons. So if you're running a sniper, you should be using a primary weapon that you're really confident with, now, I like to use a hand cannon when I snipe just because I know I can just shoot one bullet out at a time. So if I get a quick scope on somebody, I can switch over to the hand cannon really fast and just pop that one extra bullet in them. Now, it's not to say that it's necessary to run a hand cannon or anything like that. And there's plenty of times where I'll actually run Hawksaw as well, especially in Trials of Osiris. But if you're going to be doing a lot of close range sniping, then the hand cannon is definitely something you want to want to run. It doesn't have to be the last word, but that definitely is my preferred hand cannon from close ranges, the last word. I think it basically never gets beat. That's why I just like to stick with that thing. Now, it can be a little annoying running no, the last word with that animation, and that's definitely something you guys definitely need to get used to, and it almost just might be better for you to run Eyes Luna or just a normal legendary hand cannon. Besides the last word, if you're not too used to that animation, that can actually get you killed very easily. So right here, you see me running my sniper rifle. Now I jump up, I see that guy on the left, and normally I would go for the snipe on him because I know he's in a head glitch, and anytime someone's in a head glitch, it's best just to approach them with the sniper. By going in a head glitch, you're almost putting yourself at a disadvantage the only part of your body that's showing is your head. So if you approach them with a sniper, if you if you get even one shot on them, since the only thing showing is their head, you're automatically guaranteed that kill. So anytime someone's in a head, really big head glitch like that, I always approach with my sniper. That way I'll only have to land one bullet to kill them, and I don't have to worry about them sneaking up or changing spots or anything like that, because they should already be dead. Now here I ended up getting a crossfire. Now So that meant for me, I immediately knew someone was looking at that same exact spot, because there was no way that they could have killed them otherwise. So immediately I run right up, I figured it was a bad idea to approach the last word because the guy was still at long range and I didn't even know where he was, so immediately I had to be sure that I had my sniper out. And once I found him, I was able to quick scope him real easily, pick up the headshot, and then duck over here to the right after this other guy. Now, you see me switch to the last word at the very last second, I was going to approach around the corner try to get a quick scope, but I got... I knew that just sounded a little too cocky at the time, so I had to switch right to the last word. Now, because of the kills that I just gotten, I knew that this guy was going to come back to where he just died from. He wanted to get his revenge on me, so immediately I went over to the left. He's expecting me to snipe him, and I did. I got a quick scope on him, but once I got that quick scope, I knew I had to rush in on him. There was no way that he was going to stand there and take another snipe, and he was already running away by the time I had already gotten over there. So it's very important to know when someone's going to be running away to just rush up on them as fast as you can, switch to your primary, and finish them off. Especially if you end up getting a hit marker on someone, that's going to cause them to want to run away as fast as possible, especially if they don't know where you are. That just scares people really quickly, and it's going to want them to just get out of the area that they're in. So you need to be ready for it. If someone starts running, or if someone throws a grenade at you, it usually means that they're going to be rushing up on you. So here I immediately back up. This guy has so much damage on me, and he has got grenades and wombo combos all over the place. Plus, I'm hunted, so he can see me where I'm at through the walls. So immediately, I just knew I needed to get out of there as much as possible, stay behind cover, so I duck over here, and he ends up getting the snipe on me. 
So this is just another thing that you should know. If you're in a head glitch, you should always be sniping, and if you're going against somebody that's in a head glitch, you should also always be sniping. See, if I had had my sniper out there, that one bullet that I did hit the guy could have been a sniper shot. That could have thrown his aim off a little bit. Now he's using Zen Meteor, so he's got like the most aim assist in the game right there. So it might not be the best example, but if you were using a sniper in a situation like that, I would have been able to at least maybe land a body shot, which could have staggered him enough to throw his aim off, and then switch to the last word to clean him up. You don't want to be using your weakest weapon if someone is rushing you. I always like to have my strongest weapon out if someone's going to push up on me. That way I have the highest chance of killing them, or at least throwing them off before they melee me, or just get some random grenade or something like that on me. So this fight did start out perfectly. I got him with the sniper. I had my strongest weapon out because the guy was rushing me. I quick scoped him. Then he immediately wombo comboed me. So I was hurt. I knew he had the advantage. The second he hit me with that wombo combo, I no longer had the advantage. and knew it was time to get out of there. So I back up. I keep my distance. He switches to one of his primaries as well. He turns out he has a scout rifle and was able to do quite a bit of damage on me. So I run out again. Try to get away as much as possible because I knew at that point that angle had been compromised. There was just no way I was going to be able to kill him at that angle. Now the only thing I did wrong is try to approach him finally with that last word again. My health was way too low, and if your health is low and someone's rushing you, you should always just have that sniper out. It'll give you the best chance of at least doing some damage to the guy, and if not, picking him off before you die. Now the next tip I have to you guys is a really advanced tip. Now this took me a lot of time to learn, and it definitely is not easy, and a lot of times it doesn't usually work, especially with the live in Destiny. But if someone uses blink, you can actually snipe them while they blink. Now it's really hard to do, but if you catch them at that last second, it's, you can actually kill them even though they're not there. It's pretty ridiculous, but it does take a lot of getting used to. It's all about the timing. You just have to shoot exactly when they blink. Now, if you shoot exactly when they blink, you do need to make sure their aim was at least where they used to be, and then kind of drag it towards where they're blinking towards. That's the only way that I've seen this work. Now, it does take a lot of getting used to, like I said, and a lot of it is kind of just luck-based, but just know that you can actually shoot somebody straight out of their blink, and it is pretty rare, but it can happen. So definitely be aware of that. If you can get used to the timing, this can be ridiculous because someone will blink up on you a lot of time, especially in Trial of Osiris. People will be blinking all over the place. And if you can somehow get the, this, this method down, you will basically make you unstoppable because I know a lot of people that use blink, especially blink shotgunners, are really deadly against shock, uh, snipers. Blink shotgunners are probably the sniper's worst enemy, so if you can snipe someone right out of their blink, you are basically an unstoppable sniper at that point. Now the biggest trick to this, and actually really just one of the biggest tricks to sniping in general, is to not even focus on the person's body. Now this might sound really crazy, like what do you mean, you're, you're sniping, what do you mean you don't want to focus on the person's body? Well honestly, it gets to the point where in Destiny, where if you're sniped enough, you don't really need to focus on the person's body. All you really need to do is see the person's name, and you can automatically just assume where the person's head or body will be based off of that. Half the time that I'm sniping, especially when someone's in a head glitch or something like that, or across the map and I don't really know where they are, I'm not focusing on their body, I'm simply just focusing on their name and just assuming where their head is based on where it is every single time. No matter what, the person's head will always be in between their name and their level. So if you're ever in a situation where you see the person's name glowing because it's like really smoky or they're in a glitch or something, you don't really know where they're at, you can just assume where their head is based off their name. You don't have to really worry about it, especially in this situation here. I never saw this guy, there was just too much smoke, there was too much stuff going on. I never really saw his actual body, I just saw his name, so I knew exactly where his head is based off of that. Now, it, like I said, this takes a lot of getting used to, and the only reason you really know how to do this is if you've sniped a lot in Destiny. Now, the only other way to kill a blink is if you kill them after they blink. The best way to kill somebody, and the safest way to kill somebody that's blinking, is to just go and wait until they're done blinking. It's a lot easier to get them once they've come out of their blink, because it's, most of the time they're in the air, and anytime someone's in the air, it's almost an automatic kill for the sniper, because... Once you're stuck in the air, there's not really anything you can do, and you're going to follow the same pattern every time you fall. That's another thing you need to get used to if you want to become like more advanced at sniping, is anytime you see somebody falling, you should have an almost guaranteed time killing them. Anytime that someone's falling, they will fall in the exact same way, no matter what, once they fit, hit the air. Now, it can be a little different if someone's running triple jump, or if they're running Twilight Garrison nowadays. It's not exactly as easy as it used to be if someone jumps up in the air to kill them. But just know that if someone does jump up in the air, they will always follow the exact same pattern when they fall. That is something that can be a really big advantage for snipers, and a way to pick up really easy kills if someone's silly enough to actually jump up on you. Now finally, I have one more example of what I was talking about by just shooting the person's name and not their body. Right here, this guy gets this res. Now at no point did I see his body. He wasn't there. I just saw his name and fired and got lucky enough to kill him, and that's what I mean by what I say. You can kill somebody just based off of their name. You don't really need to see their body. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this guide, found something useful of it today, and learned something. If you did, please be sure to drop a like down below, and if you're not already, consider subscribing for future Destiny content. 
Hopefully you guys didn't learn anything too crazy in this guy, and I don't want to see you guys in the crucible kill me with all my tips, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.